everyone today in this video I will explain why Nux.js is best for you and uh, how you can install the Nux.js application for a single page application and for a server side rendering so Nux.js provide you a single page application functionality and a server side too so I will explain first uh, why Nux.js is best for you so the first point is get create project structure by default so when uh, you will create an app you will get all the structure of the project like its store uh, its uh, routing and everything I will show you after the uh, before ending the video uh, when I will create the project okay and the next is statically render your view web apps and get all of the advantage of universal web without a server so first uh, uh, read it uh, what is universal app a universal web app is used to describe JS code and execute both on server side and client side so you can uh, run Nux JS app as a server and as a client too so mm, the Nux JS provide you the both functionalities the third one is get automatic code splitting Nux.js can easily generate a stable version of your website with a special webpack configuration. Uh, Nux.js create a special webpack configuration so you don't need to configure your webpack. So that is uh, a good advantage. So the fourth one is set up your command line with a starter template. So when you are creating Nux.js app uh, with a CLI so you will also get a starter template uh, like I already told you that you get a structured project okay where everything is structured like your templates your pages your routes uh, your store everything okay and if uh, you are going to install the Nux.js app using CLI so you will get the latest version of the CLI and uh, uh, if the version is up updated uh, during uh, uh, during your running project so it will automatically be updated when there is a new version in the Nux.js game okay the fifth one is setup or to updating server of easy development so when you are going to uh, use the nux.js app and made any changes into your nuxt app uh, uh, when you save the save your code it automatically uh, updated on the browser okay i will show you in a minute the sixth one is get ES6, ES7 compilation without any extra works. That's uh, very good. It will provide you ES6, which is ES6 and ES7 compilation, which is the latest version uh, uh, of Laravel. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's a JavaScript. Okay, the seventh one is powerful routing system with a uh, synchronous data. It will pro uh, this will provide you a uh, powerful routing you don't need to even configure the routing it automatically configure by default okay so let's create an app and I will explain those concepts okay which are confusing you so I will explain it after creating the project so you can create your project using uh, npm or you can also uh, uh, create a project with next so uh, I'm going to uh, create with npx npx create this is a command you can check it on the official website of uh, nux.js nux create uh, hmm. next uh, uh, sorry npx create next app and my app name is my next app I'm following camel case oh sorry steadily case not camel case so this command will take some time I'm sk uh, skipping this um, and come back Bye -bye. 
here we need to set the project name uh, I set my next uh, yeah my next so the second step is you need to choose a language you can switch between uh, arrow keys uh, I'm choosing uh, JavaScript and the next step uh, mm, uh, you need to choose a package manager I'm using npm that's why I, I'm choosing npm and the next is you need to choose a UI framework I'm using bootstrap view and the next one is axios okay I want to use axios for sending uh, my request to, to the server okay I'm choosing axios and uh, uh, here you can select uh, multiple option by pressing space and arrow keys I'm just uh, choosing this ES lint and uh, I don't want to test the framework uh, I'm choosing none and the next step is you need to choose here if you want to create a server side uh, rendering app you can choose first option but if you want to create a single page application you are consuming any other APIs like uh, Laravel or Django so you can use this single page app the next one is uh, here you can choose uh, which type of server you are using so I'm using static uh, gemstrick hosting if you are using any server like node.js you can choose this option so I'm choosing static and the next one is the first JS config dot JSON it will create a JSON file uh, for your next app you can configure your setting in next JS so what is your github name so my name is Hadi Niazi so I am entering so uh, it says you want uh, git version control no I don't want I am choosing none uh, now it's installing and it takes some time I am pausing this video and come back our app is successfully installed now we can run it so I opened another terminal my uh, app is installed inside user view apps next app yeah this is my app okay um, yeah these are uh, these are these are the folder structures uh, here all assets resides this is a layout this is a middleware and these are the pages and inside the page we have a index view our app is running from this view so uh, I'm running it on the local host and uh, my port is 3000 local host 3000 oops uh, I forgot to and I've turn on it so the command is npm run dev so it will start a server for you and uh, yeah it's now listening on 3000 so let's refresh it and yeah our app is running please uh, yes start running us please start off next hmm. okay so um, it says error operation not permitted okay we are inside uh, C drive that's why I think it's uh, we are facing issues so let's uh, wait for a minute and test it again listening on local host and it says error permission map directory okay it's uh, this is permitting me because uh, I am not login as an administrator so let's go to this terminal and cd my next app and uh, npm run dev okay hopefully it should work for you yeah now it's listening on port 3000 so let's refresh it uh, okay it's still processing okay you need to wait for it to complete the complete this loading okay
let's open the project in the text editor and uh, yeah our processing is successfully completed what the hell is this oh it's not working let me check uh, yeah our port is different that's why it's not working so let's change this port and uh, I fetch it to it's still loading and yeah yeah our app is now successfully working this is a uh, home view of our app and let me open our app in the code editor I want to open a folder this is optional step you can use any text editor which you want so C drive users view app and this is my next app okay so, uh, our app is running on local host this port again uh, your port uh, should be maybe your port should be different so um, your port is this way um, yeah okay this is a folder structure the first one is next okay it contain the next uh, next folder and the second one is assets uh, here all the assets uh, reside then the third one is components so this is containing uh, this components uh, contain a logo view and uh, third one this is a layout this is a default dot view you can uh, this is by default and empty okay you can create a default view for multiple views like if you want to create a nav bar for about us uh, for login for register you can define the nav bar here and uh, yeah, it will you need to add uh, index or default or you can also add this default view into your app and uh, uh, your code will work fine in register login and dashboard also so i will explain other structure like uh, how you can generate your routes so it's how you can put your routes file and also how you can enable this store and how you can config this uh, next config file so how you can i already implemented uh, the feature how you can conf uh, config configure this file for symptom auth so thanks for watching the video if you have any question comment on it we'll meet in the next video thank you